Hello my beautiful friends, it's Amanda here and today we're talking about the Sephora VIB sale. But we're doing something a little different. In the past I've done a lot of VIB sale recommendations and those videos are really fun. But I wanted to do something a little bit different. I want to share with you what I have on my Sephora loves list, what I am interested in picking up during the VIB sale, and I really want to get your feedback, what's on your loves list, and a lot of these items are similar, like I don't need all of them, I need to choose among certain categories. So I would love your input if there's anything that you've tried or that you're interested in. Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments and that way you can kind of help me decide, narrow down my list. The VIB sale starts on May 1st. That means that Rouge members typically will get to shop a few days or a week before that. I am no longer Rouge. I lost my Rouge status at the end of 2018. I was a VIB Rouge member for the prior two years, but I just found myself purchasing more things from Ulta. Um, a huge portion of my makeup budget goes towards ColourPop. None of you would be surprised by that. So I am no longer a VIB Rouge. I will be shopping on May 1st with the rest of the VIB members. As I go through my list, I'm gonna show you the products that I'm talking about over here just so that you get a visual and it's not just my face talking at you this whole time. There's a ton of skincare on my loves list right now. This is something I'm especially interested in hearing your thoughts on. I have dry skin, but I don't have sensitive skin. I'm not really prone to breakouts, so I'm not super picky with my skincare. I find that a lot of products work for me, but nonetheless, skincare is so hard to tell from a picture, from a written review, so I'd love to hear your experiences. If you've tried any of these products, this list is crazy. First of all, something that has been on my loves list for a long time and I've just not pulled the trigger on is this set from Drunk Elephant. This is the Littles set. It's priced at $90, which is really expensive, especially for a bunch of minis, but I do like the idea of getting to try a bunch of products within the line. Drunk Elephant was on my list of nine brands that I want to try in 2019. So I could kind of kill two birds with one stone, like stock up on skincare and check that off the list. But $90 is a really hefty price tag. If you've tried any Drunk Elephant products, please let me know what you think. Is it worth it? Because that's expensive. Another very expensive product, this just launched. It's from Glow Recipe. It's their Pineapple Sea Brightening Serum. This one's $49 for one product that is really expensive. I love the Glow Recipe Watermelon Sleeping Mask. I already know that I like their products because I do like their watermelon products. And the fact that I love pineapples, it's my favorite fruit. I love the scent. I don't have a vitamin C product in my current skincare routine. So all of these things are sort of drawing me towards this, but it is very new. I haven't heard a lot about it and skincare takes a while to get like solid informational reviews out there. So I'm on the fence with this one, but it's also super cute. Okay, here are two products that I'm sort of debating between. Another one I really want your input on. It's the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask, which would be a repurchase for me. I love this product. I use it all the time. It's the only thing that really recovers my lips after lip swatch videos. I have almost completely used mine up and it's on my loves list because I was planning on repurchasing it. But my friend Kim from Be The Light 81 on Instagram, if you don't know her, she's one of the most like wonderful little human beings in the world. She was telling me how much she loves the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask and she kind of sold me on it. <laughs> so now I don't know, do I repurchase my long loved agave lip mask or do I take the leap and pick up this lip sleeping mask? Leave your thoughts on this because I do not know which direction to go and I definitely don't need both of these. 
I've also been hearing great things about this lip glowy balm. I'm definitely going to pick one of these up. These are $15. I'm probably either going to get the berry or the peach. I love lip balms. I love glowy things. I love fruity scented things. This is just hitting all the marks for me. So I'm definitely going to pick one of these up. Not sure which scent. Maybe both. I don't know. We get crazy over here. Another skincare item on my loves list right now is from Wonder Beauty. It's the Baggage Claim Rose Gold Eye Masks. I have used these after like a late night. I have a four-year-old, so sometimes we have bad dreams or we're sick or whatever, especially now that I'm cutting back on my coffee intake. I went from four coffees to two coffees. Four coffees is a lot, I know. Sometimes the eye area is just a little puffy, a little rough looking, and these masks feel amazing. They definitely make my under eyes feel cooled and calmed and also like hydrated and plumped and just alive looking. So I'm definitely going to be picking up some more eye masks because I'm out right now and mama gets a little puffy, you know what I'm saying. Okay, here's another one. This is the Battle of the Sunscreens. I really want to invest in some great high quality sun care items. It's getting warmer, it's getting sunnier, and I've been outside with my son on the playground already enough that I accidentally got a tan. I even got a little bit of a sunburn, which makes me really upset because I haven't been sunburned in like five years. I need to step up the sun protection. I'm debating between this one from Sol de Janeiro. I love the scent of their products. This is the My Soul Stick. It's SPF 50. 50 is the lowest I'll go on my face. I know everybody says like, there's no point in anything over 50, blah, blah, blah. I know, it's the wear time. It's not the amount of protection, it's how long it lasts. So I know, okay, I know. I've read all about it. Sunscreen's a big deal to me, I know. I am debating between my Soul Stick, which is 26 bucks, and I'm very intrigued by this one from Super Goop. This is the Sun Defying Sunscreen Oil. This is also SPF 50. The idea of sunscreen oil just really, it's got me, it's got me looking. It's got me looking twice because I have really dry skin. So the idea of really being able to moisturize, I love oils. I love everything about oils, put on my face, my nails, my hair. I want my sunscreen to be an oil. This one's $34. I've never really heard anybody talk about sunscreen oils. If you've tried them, let me know. Is this the real deal? Is this really going to protect my skin? Is it really going to be hydrating? I've never heard of this and I like it. I like the idea a lot. Okay. That's all of the skincare items. I don't have a ton of makeup items on my loves list right now, but the ones that I do have, I'm very, very interested in, and also they are very expensive. <laughs> First up from Too Faced, the new Natural Lust collection. The Natural Lust palette is $59. I was a big fan of the Natural Love palette. I know that this one has gotten some criticism for how neutral it is. It's definitely neutral. It's definitely a lot of shades that are going to look really similar, but I just think it's beautiful. I was a fan of the Natural Love Palette Formula, and I think I would like this one too. I don't know. What do you guys think? Would you watch a review about this? Are you already over it? You've already seen everybody who got it in PR review it. I don't know. I'm just intrigued by it. I love Too Faced. The packaging looks gorgeous. Oh, it's got really high ratings on Sephora. Almost five stars. Nice. Also from the Natural Lust collection is this Natural Lust Satin Bronzer. First of all, this is like a work of art. It is so beautiful. I love a satiny bronzer instead of a matte bronzer. It just brings more life to my face. Like I said, I have dry skin, so anything that's satiny or a little bit glowy really works for me. This bronzer is $34. It's so pretty. I don't know if I'm going to be able to resist this, even if you guys say don't do it. I, I don't know if I can resist. It's so pretty. But look at that freaking peacock. Okay. The very last makeup items on my loves list right now are from the new NARS Orgasm collection. I know a lot of people are like over it with the NARS Orgasm collections. I am not one of those people. <laughs> the first thing that really 
went straight onto my loves list is the Orgasm Oil Infused Lip Tint. Like I said, I love oils. I love NARS Orgasm products. This looks super duper beautiful. It's 26 bucks. Ah, so pretty. That one, probably gonna have to buy that for sure. The other two items also from the Orgasm Collection are the Orgasm Liquid Highlighter. I love the NARS Liquid Blushes, and if this highlighter is anything like those, I am just going to drench my entire body in it. I love, love NARS formulas so much. The packaging on this looks beautiful. I don't know too much about this little dropper applicator deal, but I do wish it was like the pump, like the liquid blushes, but it's $30. It looks so pretty, doesn't it? Oh, gorgeous. And of course, the NARS Endless Orgasm Palette. This is an all shimmery cheek palette. It just looks so delicious. It's $49. Again, beautifully packaged. I'm sure the formula is going to be insanely good. I just, I just want to try it and I want to cover my entire face with all of the shimmers. Uh, don't think I won't because I'll do it. I'll do it. I wonder how much this stuff would all be if I bought every single thing that I just said. I just did a little bit of math, which is not my strong suit, but I did it anyway out of curiosity. If I purchased every single item that I just talked about, like even the doubles, then it would be 498 American dollars. Now I would get 15% off since I'm a VIB, so that would be 423 and 30 cents. No doubt I would have to pay taxes on that order. That is just crazy talk. We absolutely need to narrow it down. So. I would so appreciate your input. Let me know if you've tried any of these things, if any of them are also on your loves list, or if you're dying to see reviews about any of them. Leave your comments, let me know what you think, and let us know what's on your list too, because, you know, there's always space to add more to the loves list. You don't gotta buy it all at once, you know? But you just, just throw a little heart at it, if it looks good. As always, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, it's so zoomed in. Ugh. Ugh. Look at me wearing a shirt that's not a gray or black t-shirt. Who am I? Anyway, enough of that. Let's see. What's on the list? List, list, list. But then... <laughs> what? What are these called? Lip glowy. That's so cute. I love glowy and I love balms. Huh? Who's talking? Obviously not you. Lineage. Is that how you say it? Linea, lineage. Lineage. <laughs> I'm sure somebody's going to be offended by that. Lineage. Lineage. I don't know. Is that crazy? <laughs> Mask or do I slip, slip, blah, blah? <sighs> Sometimes I can't even listen to myself talk. So I need to step up my skin care. Skin care. It's my skin care. Endless orgasm palette. That sounds painful and distracting. Anyway, uh, no, go back to my list, <sighs> sir. I'm gonna do a little math. You know how much I love that. <laughs> my 498. That's stupid. I feel so weird wearing like real clothes that aren't a t-shirt. What an odd thing for an adult woman in her 30s to feel, but here we are. I doubt anyone's surprised by it. Whew. You know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna film a giveaway because I want to and because we hit 30k and because it's fun. Who knows? Who knows when it'll go up? Whenever I have time to edit it. Adios. Bye.